Hey, greetings from Texas. We're going to do stuffed peppers. I have a little different method than most. I don't pre-cook my stuffing. So we're going to have two parts. We're going to have the peppers and we're going to make the stuffing. I just go ahead and mix it up and stuff the peppers and bake everything at one time. It's all, it's all going to get cooked and I can't see cooking the stuffing twice. So let's look at our ingredients. Um, I got a... Uh, 15% a little bit leaner meat because you're going to cook in the peppers and with all the other vegetables it's going to get kind of moist. We have our peppers. You can use any type, green, red, yellow, whatever. I have um, roughly a cup of cooked rice. I have this stuff in my prepper stores so I thought I'd break some out and I microwave that so I don't have to cook rice. I got portobello mushroom. I got onion. I got salt and pepper. This is just a blend I make myself when I'm cooking. Um, shredded Parmigiano Romano cheese. This one happens to be a four cheese. Minced garlic, diced tomato. I got a little bit of crushed red pepper, Italian seasoning, paprika, Worcestershire. We're gonna kick it up with some liquid smoke and yes, yellow mustard. And this will have the kind of profile if you like um, Sloppy Joe's or Manwich. Okay, first we're gonna prep the peppers. Peter Piper prep the peppers, peppers. All right, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the flattest spots. Now I'll have it sit in the pan flat. And then, um, so it looks pretty good. Just cut them in half. We'll clean them up a little bit. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, cutting them in half and then I'm cleaning out the ribs and that gives you a little bit more room. Let's start the veggies. I remembered we had some um, celery that needs to be used. So we're gonna use that too. I mean, you can put whatever you want in your stuffing. You know, you know what you like. Okay, so let's chop that up. Dicing this up really fine. So let's do our uh, mushroom. Alright, we have our vegetables out of the way. Let's go ahead and uh, make our stuffing. This is 85-15 ground beef. One pound, and we're going to add a uh, half a cup of rice for now. We're going to add our veggies. take some cheese and we're going to do about okay so we have our uh, can of diced tomatoes so what we're going to do is we're going to dump drain it most of the liquid in here and we're going to take half the can and the other half's going to go in there and that'll help keep things moist and create a sauce so now we're going to add the seasonings and we're going to take about two tablespoons of paprika. We're going to give uh, dashes of crushed red pepper. You can leave that out. We're going to do um, about a teaspoon of this Italian seasoning. We're going to 
take my um, salt and pepper blend, if I don't spill it on the floor, add about a teaspoon of that. And that's already ratioed out. It's two parts salt to one part pepper. We're gonna use, um, I have some liquid smoke. Let's go ahead and teaspoon of that. We're gonna take our W, our Worcestershire, and we're gonna do about a tablespoon of that. And then, Something that gives it a little bite. This is the Heinz mustard. We're going to do about a tablespoon of that. And just mix it all together. Okay, here's our mix. I spread the uh, tomato out around, there's, you know, not very much, just half a can. It'll just help things kind of cook along. So now we're just going to stuff these things. And you want to go ahead and just pack it in there. Okay, we have them stuffed. I have that much left over. I mean, if you want, you could save that and put it in a fry pan and make a sandwich, but we're just going to make a little meat, tiny meatloaf and stick it in the middle. Get some space there. Okay, we're about ready to go in the oven. Um, this is going to go in a 375 degree oven covered for 40 minutes. Once after 40 minutes, we're going to uncover it and you can leave it as it is, but we're going to, in this case, top it with some grated smoked cheese that I my homemade smoked cheese or you can put ketchup on it tomato sauce barbecue sauce whatever you want and you're going to cook it for at least another 15 to 20 minutes uncovered so you're looking at about an hour hour and 10 minutes total cooking time the oven's ready in for 40 minutes and while that's going I'm gonna prep our topping which is gonna be my uh, home smoked Gouda we got about maybe a cup and a half and I tell you what man if you have a smoker get a cold smoke generator and smoke your own cheese it's been 40 minutes let's go ahead and Uncover this. It's hot. All right, we're going to put it in for another uh, 20 minutes. Um, after 15 minutes, so I'm going to put the cheese on the top. Well, I guess I lost some footage there. So um, anyway, I put the cheese on top after 15 minutes. And I ran out of cheese, so I just put ketchup on top of that one. So we're going to come back in another five minutes. Okay, let's check it. And we're going to make doubly sure. Okay, it's not quite up to uh, temp. I want it to be um, up to 160, so we're going to let it go for another 10 minutes. Okay, here we are. We're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes and we'll cut into it. Okay, here's the unveil. Let's give it a little try here. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. It's very good.
thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching.